Welcome back. We continue our restaurant week with a fast and casual alternative to pizza and burgers. You can build your own teriyaki bowl at Teriyaki Madness. And joining us right now in the Good Day VA kitchen is Jake Moore, the owner. Thanks for being with us. Hello. Nice so to be here. So you guys are located in Chambersburg. Uh, teriyaki Madness, though, this is more of like a chain concept. Can you tell me about that? How did you get familiar with it? Well, it's a franchise that started in 2003 out in Las Vegas. Um, the concept has been spreading um, towards the East Coast over the last few years. We were actually the first one in Pennsylvania. We were really excited about that. Um, my wife and I, I was getting ready to retire from my previous job and everything. I was looking for something completely different. Mm -hmm. uh, I was a corrections officer, so this is completely different. Yeah. I, 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 instead <laughs> of yelling at people, I now get to you know help people or make food for people and everything. Um, but we were actually supposed to go to a, a small business expo in New York City. and. Uh, her father got sick, so we weren't able to go. And a, a, a businessman reached out to us. He got all like the name, a list of names, mm -hmm. and he reached out to us and, and uh, talked to us and everything what we were looking for. Then he came up with uh, ten different businesses to look at, and uh, we looked at this one and we were amazed by it. We drove three and a half hours to try the food for the first time. Wow! And. Uh, we bought one of everything. Okay, oh, I, I, wow. I didn't buy the tofu. I'm just being honest. The tofu, okay. the tofu's good, but we bought one of everything. Um, it was great. We loved it. We took it home. It reheats real well and everything, yeah. and uh, that really kind of began the journey. Well, speaking of the food, you're going to actually get started with a little bit of a demonstration here on how you put one of these bowls together. Right. And we were talking about this being fast and casual. It's really not going to take too long. So let's talk about the menu and the food. What can customers expect? Okay, well, when they come in, the customers can come in, they, they can expect they're going to have three sizes of bowls uh, to choose from. And uh, right now I'm making the spicy chicken, so we're flipping it to get it caramelized a little bit. And you said so this is one of your best sellers? This, this is uh, one of our best sellers. This and the uh, teriyaki chicken are, are our two uh, biggest sellers. Uh, but when people come in, they can choose from three different sizes of bowls. And then what they're going to do is they can choose a base. Your base can be white rice, brown rice, fried rice, and noodles. We have some brown rice up here, some white rice, mm -hmm. and we're going to be making some noodles here in a few minutes for you. Okay. And everything. Uh, then we have veggies because, like Mom tells you when you're growing up, always eat your veggies. <laughs> so we have five different kinds of veggies. We have broccoli, we have uh, zucchini, uh, we have carrots, we have onions, and did I hit everything? Uh, but anyhow, if, if there's something in there, or carrots, if you decide that you don't necessarily like that, um, the carrots or whatever, um, you, can you can just it? ask and we'll okay. customize it for you. Okay. Um, now, I don't want to glaze off, we're putting the noodles in, but I don't want to glaze over these sauces because these are all made in-house, is that correct? Yes, yeah, so all of our sauces are made in-house, um, which adds, adds for a fun experience sometimes and everything. Uh, especially in the evenings when we're trying to get uh, get a rush done, and I'm telling everybody, hey, we got to get these uh, get these sauces started and everything, and they're like, Jake, we need more time. Uh, but anyhow, yeah, it, it, it's kind of nice and everything. I mean, you have your menu, and, and then we're we're similar. Some of the tastes people might be able to make a similar taste to you, but your your taste is always going to be slightly different and slightly special just because it's your sauces and everything. And it keeps people coming back for more. Yes. All right, so we mentioned you are in Chambersburg and you actually have a big anniversary coming up. So how long have you been there? We've been there 11 months, so uh, next week will be 11 months. We um, Thanksgiving, we opened the week of Thanksgiving last year. And uh, we're really looking excited to it. Uh, as of this moment, uh, we're coming up with some ideas. Uh, to thank all of our customers because the people in Chambersburg have been very, very uh, nice to us. Uh, we have a 65% uh, return rate on most of our customers and everything. So our customers are showing us that they um, they, are, they like our they food like what they get. and they appreciate their, our service and everything, which makes us feel really good. So we're going to continue to plate this up here, but I want to tell our viewers very quickly where exactly in Chambersburg are you located and how can our viewers get more information or come in and see you? Uh, we're located at 243 Walker Road, right off exit 17 in uh, Chambersburg. Uh, we have a, a website uh, our, in our Facebook page. Uh, my wife and my daughter uh, take care of our Facebook page, and I want to thank nice. them very much for that because this person here has no Facebook page and no clue, <laughs> no clue how to do some of Everyone that. Everyone has so. their talents. All right, well, we're going to continue cooking here as we send things to a break. We'll show you the finished product coming up a little bit later on Good Day PA.